Hey guys, Josh here with Real Dead, and today I'm going to be doing my review and thoughts about the movie I just saw today, just came out this weekend, The First Omen. Now, personally, not a big Omen fan. Um, I, I've seen the original um, maybe once, and it was a long time ago, probably like at an AMC or whatever, during like a Fear Fest or whatever it is, um, Scare Fest. Um, and I wasn't real impressed with it. It was slow and boring to me, but I was like 14, 15 probably. Um, so it's like, eh, I didn't really know about much about it. I had never seen any of the other movies. Um, I did see a part of the remake from the 2000s. Didn't care for it at all, really. So yeah, I come into this movie not knowing a ton, knowing some, but not a ton. Um, and it worked for me. It The movie worked without knowing hardly anything about the series. Um, it was really good, in my opinion. So I think you should definitely go check it out. I would. Um, I Now, I did see Immaculate a couple weeks ago. Really liked Immaculate. To me, this is a little bit better than Immaculate. Um, just more going on, I feel like. And a better story, um, in my opinion. Uh, I really like the Immaculate. But like I said, this one's just a little bit higher for me. Um, good acting in this movie, I thought. Um, didn't really know much of the cast at all, actually. Like, none of the cast looked familiar to me. Um, but they did really good. The main lead was really good. Um and yeah, and this movie does have some twists and turns, which I really liked. Um, and they do explain things well enough, um, in my opinion. So I feel like, hey man, check this movie out. Um, it surprised me because when I watched the trailer, I didn't think it looked great. I, I mean, I think I'm on record for saying, eh, possession type movie. I thought it was going to be like that, kind of like Immaculate. But they both really surprised me. And they're not just some dumb, uh, insidious or, you know, conjuring or whatever those movies are um, type of movie. So, yeah, I was very impressed. Really liked it. So I, I highly recommend seeing this movie. One out of ten. I'm going to give this movie an eight. An 8.2, actually. I think it's that good. It's it's actually very good. Um, yes, it does have some slow parts, um, but they they go for it on some gore, man, which I like it. I think they go for it on some areas, um, and uh, they put it out there, which it's a rated R movie, and I like that, though. Um, I thought the first act, you know, was nice building, put some things across. The middle m was good. I think it might have dragged just a little bit, but not much. The end, the third act was really good in my opinion. So um, I think Immaculate went for a punch more though, which I thought was a better overall punch. Um, but this movie I think was overall better. So um, definitely go see both of those movies, but I highly recommend this one. Um, so yeah, that's just some spoiler free things. Now I'm going to get in some spoilers. Listen, spoilers now. Spoiler conversation is coming now. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this movie, like I said, I didn't know a lot about it. Um, but I kind of knew, you know, and that there's this boy named Damien who uh, is like the Antichrist or whatever um, in the old one and or the original one. So I knew this movie probably was going to have something to do with his birth and all that. So, and it did, that's what it covered. It covered like how he was born, how he was conceived. Um, you think it's, you think it's going to be this girl that's targeted, uh, that's in this Catholic, uh, community again, just like immaculate. And it turns out this Catholic community is like a higher up people that have like evil deeds, but they're doing it all for God. They're trying to bring the reason for, to bring Damien into the world is to bring more people to God. So they feel like this is a necessary evil that we're all committing, but it's for the glory of God. You know, like through through all time, P 
people murdered people, people, you know, erased basically civilizations, different things in the name of God, because this is what God would want. You know, they got it all backwards. Uh, that's basically what these people are doing in this movie um, as well. Um, but it's a much smaller group because they don't have a lot of power. Um, but they were trying to figure out how to bring Damien into the world, and they do. Um, and you think it's this one girl the whole time, this young girl, and this other, the main character is trying to help her. Turns out it's actually the twist is it's the main character that it actually is the one that gives birth to Damien. She's actually also chosen. And it turns out that this church has been uh, trying to birth girls to be able to have Damien. And turns out that m most of them died or were deformed and whatever, but there was two successful ones. And you only think there's one and that's the girl that they have. Technically, it's the other girl too the main girl. So it was a good twist. I thought, you know, we did figure it out. It was kind of written in, you know, written in the sky at that point, but it still was a good twist. You know, uh, we saw it coming and man, there is a birth scene in this movie. That's like in the middle of this movie. That's just great. That's just like, Whoa, you didn't see it coming. So, I mean, and they're, the woman's given birth to this jackal. And it's pretty bizarre. Um, and, dude, they go for it. They show it. They don't show the whole birth, but they show the stuff coming out of the private area of the lady. Uh, so they go for it. Um, but also, I was really happy with the amount of gore that was in this. I thought it was a good amount. Um, you know? And I, I'm, I'm, I've been on record. I'm, I'm bored of the whole possession and... You know, the devil's got you, the demons got you, making you go like, eh, eh, eh. like I, that really wasn't in this movie. Uh, there might have been a little scene where she was kind of being overtaken by the birth of like the, the Damien inside of her, but that was it. And it was only like a five minute part. It wasn't like the whole thing, the whole movie where they're like talking like, hey, the devil. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And it turns out the other twist I felt like was when Damien was born there was a twin sister in there as well. So there's two, which I think is very smart of them because now the nun, the, the lady, the girl that is also marked with the 666 that could have a Damien baby, those two are living together with the girl that was a twin sister to Damien. And uh, the, the priest comes at the end and he says, they're going to come after you. This was very smart because this is if this is successful, which I think it should be because it's a good movie, they can go on with their story and don't necessarily have to focus on Damien like at all. They can mention him, but they, it don't have to be about Damien. It could be about the church coming after them because she is also a product. You know, she's also a product of this jackal and this lady. So... Yeah, I like that. I think it was really good. I highly recommend it. Like I said, I am giving it an 8.2. And uh, man, really good. So get out there and see a movie, guys. Love going to the theater and see movies. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this movie. Bye, guys.